Previous CIA officer Philip Giraldi has cautioned that senior individuals from the Trump Organization are by and large covertly coordinated by the Israeli government and its knowledge benefit. Composing for American Herald Tribune, Giraldi claims that Nikki Haley specifically is covertly serving the interests of Israel. The latest claim that Russian President Vladimir Putin is running Donald Trump as though the U.S. president is a Russian insight resource originates from previous director of national intelligence, DNI, James Clapper. Putin knows how to deal with an advantage, and that is what he's doing with the president, Clapper disclosed to CNN last Monday. Clapper, who filled in as DNI under President Barack Obama, and who has over and over defamed Trump both earlier and since the 2016 decision, called the Russian president an incredible case officer, which may be the main decent thing said in regards to Putin by a previous senior U.S. official in a long while. Clapper was asked by CNN's Jim Ciotto, you're stating that Russia is taking care of President Trump as a benefit? He reacted that is by all accounts. That is the appearance to me. Later in the discussion, Clapper backtracked somewhat, clearing up his comments by including I'm stating this allegorically. It was not the first occasion when a previous senior insight official rendered a judgment that Trump is a knowledge resource being abused by the Russians. Back amid the battle, previous acting director of the CIA Michael Morrow composed a commentary for the New York Times entitled I ran the CIA, now I'm endorsing Hillary Clinton. Morrow contemplated that Putin a wily ex-vocation inside officer, is prepared to recognize vulnerabilities in an individual and to misuse them. In the knowledge business, we would state that Mr. Putin had enrolled Mr. Trump as an unwitting operator of the Russian Federation. Morrow went ahead to clarify that he construct his investigate in light of his evaluation that Mr. Trump has. Taking approach positions reliable with Russian, not American, interests. Having really been a case officer, Dissimilar to specialists in tradecraft Clapper and Morrill, I don't know what allegorically or unwitting extremely mean. In any case, I will acknowledge the moral definition that representing a remote power fits the meaning of an operator of impact. Based on that, I do believe that there are a few people in the Trump organization who are pretty much being coordinated by an outside government and its inside benefit and that administration would be Israel. I might want to know more for instance, about the ties that the president's child-in-law and family need to Israel and to its initiative. The Kushners are accounted for to be to a great degree near Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and, if media reports are right, they have occupied with the money-related help of Israeli settlements on the West Bank, which the United States and in addition whatever remains of the world consider to be illicit. And after that there is America's representative to Israel, David Friedman, who is known to be a supporter of the pioneers and Jason Greenblatt, the assigned provincial arbitrator. What precisely is their relationship to Israel? Do any of them have double nationality? Shouldn't U.S. citizens who make good their pay rates and costs while additionally suffering the harm they are doing to America's notoriety through their relationship with a politically sanctioned racial segregation administration know their identity extremely faithful to? Perhaps a little straightforwardness is altogether. Per Morrill's model, Kushner, Friedman and Greenblatt may all be thought about operators of impact since their brief as U.S. authorities appears to incorporate ensuring that Israel is both upbeat and on top of it on all that they do. How frequently do they meet secretly with Israeli authorities? Are knowledge officers associated with their gatherings? What do they not report back to Washington? By the by, my possibility for well on the way to be a true Israeli operator of impact is America's United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley. Haley has from the begin influenced it to clear that she is about Israel and she has done nothing since to change that impression, most significantly so finished the previous week when she was taking names and debilitated striking back against any nation that was so impolite as to set out to vote against Washington's tragic acknowledgement of Jerusalem as Israel's capital which she likewise achieved. As legislative leader of South Carolina, Haley initially ended up plainly recognized as an unquestioning supporter of Israel. Instantly after taking office at the United Nations she whined that no place has the UN's. 
disappointment been more reliable and more unbelievable than in its inclination against our nearby partner Israel and pledged that the times of Israel bashing are finished. On a current visit to Israel, she was commended regarded by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In February, Haley hindered the arrangement of previous Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyid to a conciliatory position at the United Nations since he is a Palestinian. In a congressional hearing this previous week, she was gotten some information about the choice, is it this present organization's position that help for Israel and support for the arrangement of a very much qualified individual of Palestinian nationality to an arrangement at the UN are totally unrelated? Haley reacted yes, that the organization is supporting Israel by obstructing each Palestinian. Haley is definitely a hardliner on Syria and Iran mirroring the Israeli predisposition. She has said that administration change in Damascus is a Trump organization need. A current invasion included the White House cautioning that it had distinguished potential arrangements for another substance weapons assault by the Assad administration. Haley explained in a tweet, additionally assaults will be faulted for Assad yet in addition on Russia and Iran who bolster him slaughtering his own particular individuals. At one point, Haley cautioned we have to see Russia agree with the cultivated world over an Assad government that severely threatens its own kin. I would bring up that none of these positions taken by Haley is a real American intrigue, however they all include Israeli inclinations. As in the instances of Gushner, Friedman, and Greenblatt, I might want to know how habitually she meets alone with Israeli authorities and, most especially, knowledge officers. It is safe to say that she is taking course from the Israeli government? Is it true that she is an Israeli specialist of impact or only a naive trick? The American Open, which pays her, and needs to shoulder the outcomes of her activities need to know.